Excuse me. Apologies. Mister? Sir, good morning. I'm so tempted to send an arrow dynamite right through that window. <laughs> yep. can probably rob the sheriff but I don't know if he has a safe and how much will be in it I mean even if you rob a train you're only making a few hundred a go then you've got to clear the bounty down and that's assuming you don't die like it's not as lucrative as you might think uh, yes it is Africa So you guys voted to free that guy. You still yeah. think you made the right decision? Was it the sob story? Family's more important than $25, even though that guy's prepared to kill me over it. Legendary on the wires, though. What's that? Did I need anything from the fence while we're going through Emerald? You can't take Arthur seriously with that hat. Dude, he looks amazing. Look at him. Yeah. The pedal tats are the best hats. I used to have the legendary bear one, but I think this one's better. Yep. Uh, the white Arabian just has more. Like, if you look at its stamina and health, it has like nine bar. So it has really good stamina and it's quick. Yeah, Java. Hey, Mister.
Lydia's in the um in the in the stables. That's the light. Slow up now. That's interesting. Kate from McDaniels. Well, so much for that. Maybe I shouldn't have killed him. I don't know. You like you're creeping along, and then people just go. Hey. <laughs> they just see you. It's really difficult. See? See? It's absolute, complete, utter rubbish. Like, no matter what I do, he's going to see me. Protect me, you idiot. You've killed them all, you animal. So what now? Come on, log. Got a special treat for you. 
this poor bastard. I think no matter no matter what, as soon as we got near them, it was going to trigger. There's no way they knew I was approaching. I think so, Hannah. I think it's the hat discrimination. Take me to damn cork, then. This ain't America. We ain't free no more. Can't raise no animals, take no wives. All I did was graze my livestock. Married them that needed marrying. And killed any that tried to stop it. I ain't wrong. If you wrong, we was trying to live free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blah, blah. All I can hear is like blah, blah, blah. They're like, the, they're like the, um, the guys who get sacked on The Apprentice. They come off just going, yeah, yeah, they're totally wrong. It, was, it wasn't my fault. I shouldn't be here. It should be somebody else. Blah, 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 blah. Jeez, those horses are freaking out. I'd love to free them, but they just probably kick me in the face. Hmm. A bit rubbish in the loot department. Okay then, girl. You know, you ain't going to court. You ain't going to jail either. I'm taking you to a professor I know. What in hell are you talking about? You're a lucky man, mister. You get to be part of a An experiment? experiment. Shut up! Huh? You ain't gonna die needlessly is what I mean. Nope. Your death's gonna be an uh, important step in the advancement of human knowledge. What in hell are you saying, mister? This professor, Andrew Bell III, I believe he said. He's a little odd, maybe harebrained, but I got no reason to doubt the quality of his work. What's this damn professor got to do with anything? Well, he wants to try this new electricity chair on you. To kill you. <laughs> Humanely. <clears throat> no! Yeah. <laughs> well, he's gonna strap you into this contraption and... Run a large electric current through your system. Got something to do with moonshine. Don't quite know what. <laughs> I guess that's why he's the professor and I'm the bounty catcher. <laughs> but as I said, I can pass on his assurances that this is a most humane way to go. It'll be just like, well, like switching off a light. <laughs> they wouldn't let you do this to me. They wouldn't. Oh, they would. And we got a permit and everything. You was in animal husbandry, am I right? Well, you ever seen lightning strike livestock, Mr. McDaniels? No, I ain't ever seen the actual impact, but I came across the pasture sometime after. The storm had just cleared and there was smoke in the air, smell of burning hair. No. There must have been a dozen head of cattle lying there, piled up, mangled. Strange scars across their backs, legs, and necks. It's half like they was burned, and half like the skin was ripped off. No! Eyes bleeding. Some of them popped out. No! If I hadn't seen the storm, well, I would have thought some devil caused that mischief. But, no, sir. It was lightning. The electricity does something all right. I seen trees explode in front of me. I seen desert sand baked in glass. That's what I seen lightning do. But, you know, hey, this electricity professor's got a plan for you. Ah, oh, that must be of an entirely different kind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this just reduced him to tears. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, that sounds utterly humane, just like switching off a light, really. Eyes popping out. Uh, LOTW, thank you very much for subbing and welcome to the net house.
Can't believe Arthur's paid a hundred dollars to have this happen. This is guys sobbing. We should just drive over to an alligator and throw this guy in front of him. Probably could, but I don't want to on a mission. If you want to try it, we'd have to do it with a, a complete stranger. But we'd probably lose honor doing it. Good to San Denis, so we're not far. Okay, there. See, there's coach in front of us. This looks like if you're going to rob a coach, that's probably a nice one. Well, here we are. The professor will be real pleased to meet you. <gasps> no! I bring him to me. I got him. You're wonderful. Just, just wonderful. Come on. Don't be shy now. Let's go. I reckon they should get that banjo music right and play it when they're ex electrocuting this guy. Like really jovial banjo music. Come on. Now where's my money? Um, money? Yeah, for all the running around I've been doing. Oh, well. Once they buy my humane electric ending facilitator, there'll be money enough for you, sir. Well, let's hope. Alright, let's get our, our, um, our poor unfortunate ready for the demonstration. Oh, do come and watch. It'll be amazing. Come along. I'm not sure we want to go and watch this. Okay, he completely vanished. You very much want to watch. Wow. Wait, where's the mission? Uh -oh. 
This is going to go very badly. Why is he acting like he doesn't know us? Hey, mister. Hey there, how are you? Hi, ma'am. Mister. Gentlemen. Hey, mister. Hello, ma'am. Howdy. Hey. Hello, mister. Hello. Good. Hey there. I feel sorry for your wife. Hey there. You got one. <laughs> Sorry for your wife if you've got one. Wow, that is super rude. Hey, how doing? Hey there, partner. Hello, Mills. How are you? Howdy, fellas. See, what would the game do right now if you dynamited both uh, of them? You, Mister, excuse me. Hello. Would it just like cut off that story off? Hello, gentlemen. Hi there, mister. Hello, hello. Hi there. Hello. Hey there. I reckon we have to come back later when he's uh, set up the equipment. I think he's just pondering at the moment. Let's get you looking good. Ashwin, thank you for one year. Happy anniversary. None of them do. They basically, until you get a certain distance away, and then it spawns the mission, so that when you approach it, it's got all the new like props and stuff. Anything you can spare for a blind man? Uh, please, there's someone here. Alms for the blind. Oh, <laughs> thank you, sir. Uh, truly, thank you. It means a lot to me. Search the gallery for charm. Um, hey. Can you let me in? <laughs> I don't seem to be able to fit through this. Oh, there we go. Door. Oh, God, art critics. He's just a terror. It's making me blush. I find the brushwork baffling. What's he trying to represent aside from a filthy mess? <laughs> it's a 
You know. Oh my god. Look at these idiots. Excuse me, Mr. Chatternay. Couldn't you have painted some drawers on her? Madame, I paint her in her natural state, as she was and will be in paradise. There's nothing natural about that. Clothes are civilization, repression, death. To be naked is to be free, innocent, alive. Like Buddha said, you know, we are all just here to fuck. <gasps> Well, that explains the decadence of those Hottentots. Hey, you got a picture of my wife here. In her delicate. <gasps> Henry, oh. is that your behind? Well, oh, why would you be shown it to that man? That's my mama. <gasps> as nude as the day she was born. Stop looking at my husband's buttocks. <laughs> Stop looking at my mama. Well, maybe <laughs> she shouldn't have exposed herself like that. This is disgusting. <laughs> Nerve on you. That's it. Oh, oh on, my God. This is no place for us. Come here, hey. I am a bitch. Oh, you God. filthy little man. Oh. Wow. Come on, Hulk. Kick it off. Hey, I'm coming after you, Frenchie. Hey. All right. Oh, is it like that, is it? Well, they had nothing on it. Are you serious? This show is well and truly over. Let's get out of here. Come on, I know a place where I can disappear for a few days. Let's go. What about your artwork, man? I'm just gonna leave it all behind. This way, this way. Come on. I think we are okay. Huh? The exhibition. What can you say? It was not boring. Huh? That it was not. Something of warm weather brings a better. Hello, sir. Our test people push them. I thought I was a fraud, a no talent brush washer. Now I'm not sure. We provoke emotions. Tell me, no, how are you doing? You keep provoking emotions like that, and all your canvases left punch holes through. I told you I was a whole ass. <laughs> you did, and you are. Now maybe go be an asshole somewhere else for a while. Ah, here we are. I know a lady over here. She may let me stay for a while. Good luck. <laughs> That picture I gave you, it will be worth something someday. I can feel it. Perhaps. Right now, it seems like the only thing it'll get me is a kick in the balls. Oh, you are funny, you know. I hope to see you again sometime. My angel, my little bird, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was weird. Hey, why aren't you working? Just catching my wind for a hey, spell. Hope. Hello. Howdy, friend. Oh, that was funny. Hey there. Hey, hope. <laughs> just a bunch of like aristocratic businessmen just punching each other. Stop looking at my husband's buttock. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they were like they're absolutely fine to look at all these pictures until they realise that they were of people they know, and then suddenly it's a problem. Try and sell those gator eggs in the uh, in the doctors. Sorry, you might need a new window again. Let's see if he'll Let's buy them. See what you got. Ah, he doesn't want to buy me either. Hmm. Right then, let's see. Thank you, 46 months, Herb. And Crazy Man, thanks for four. Have you tried at the general store? Yeah, they just offer 250 but it, it said you might sell them to something like affluent clients in San Denis, is what it said. What you see here are the only real miracles on offer. Is 
Zany. Blimey, dude. Think our fathers might have died Is this your biannual visit, Zany? <laughs> sir? How are you doing, sir? Hey. Hello. Hey, mister. It said something about a poker thing above the... Is that above the gunsmith, the poker thing? I might go to the gunsmith anyway and reconfigure some weapons. Glad to see you back, sir. Let me know if I can help you choosing something. Now, let me see. Says something about a question mark mission that you want to collect items like the eggs for them. Don't know. Let me know if you need help. No problem. You come back to it any time. The door right. Okay, we'll try that in a sec. Glad to see you're taking care of it. So many people don't. Wait, you can't customize this. You ever thought about getting some enhancements for that gun? Yeah. That's what I'm trying to do, bro. Looks like you've been taking good care of that gun. Why is that disabled? Oh, it's because it's dirty, right? Okay. I didn't know that. I didn't know that he wouldn't customize something unless it's uh, super clean. I've got some better stocks that would fit that gun. Can add to stability. You will feel the difference right away. Scope. Blimey, a repeater with a scope on it. That could be interesting. I'll give you I can have one with page. a scope and one without. You'll notice the quality of the workmanship. Oh no. I can do some nice ornate engraving on there if you like. Good price. You see the church across the street? Father O'Leary carries a gun, a Dellinger. I sold it to him, just in case turning the other cheek doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> he sold Father a gun. That's hilarious. Maybe I should have chosen a smaller store in Chinatown. Something cheaper. But I'm sure things will turn around. I can see you look after your firearm. We do a range of excellent sights for that gun. They can really make the difference. God, because I use the vomit rifle a lot. You got no regrets with that decision. Hmm. 
We also offer an engraving service in case you are interested. If you're heading anywhere near the slums, there should be like engravings for like rats and squirrels and stuff because it's more suitable for a um, a varmint rifle. Hunting knife. I can do some nice ornate engraving on there. If you like, good price. Did not realize you can actually get this done. Didn't know you could do that. Zany, how you doing anyway? I use the uh, pump action oil as well. Looks like you've been taking good care of that gun. I can give you some better options for the sights. Hello. You will feel the difference right away. You'll notice the quality of the workmanship. You don't go to work as a paramedic at the moment, studying to become an advanced paramedic. I know you be I know you did the paramedic thing. Are you still enjoying it? I remember when I, when I finished school, a few years after I'd finished school, there was a guy that was with school with. Um, I hope this store bring more people to Went Chinatown, on to become a paramedic. But I am still waiting. And uh, I remember him saying that within the space of 12 months, he'd seen things that had just completely changed him as a person. Plenty of lively bars nearby. Be sure you take a gun. Oh, yeah, totally, Zany. I can, I can totally get that. Like you say, sometimes it's just really hard. Other times it's like superbly rewarding. Glad to see you're taking care of it. So many people don't. Looks like you've been taking good care of that gun. Did you know a rifle barrel adds noticeable accuracy? We can do that to this model for a great price. That's going to be great. That'll give you a real edge. You will feel the difference right away. This guy just doesn't stop talking, does he? <laughs> Everything you do. I know I've already got a medium range, but I'm getting a short range, so I've got a bit of versatility in the gun. Because the other ones are very similar, you know.
We stock some of the finest quality guns in the South. That looks a bit better. Oh yeah, I can imagine saying. I'm saving that because I'm not going through that again. <laughs> Let's get that locked in. Sorry, pal. This is invitation only. Yeah, this is this is like the other place where hidden operation. You can you? now rob the shop side business. I'm sorry, partner. You got a bit of a side thing going on here. You got like a restaurants in the back there, cooking up some stuff. Evening. Good evening, oh, hello, Mr. Sirs. I like you, Mr. You have a kind face. Mm. <laughs> I tell you, life ain't easy. find a way into this place evening sir it did say above it that's the thing I don't think I've ever seen you work up a sweat the madhouse is the next town over Maybe we have to get on the roof some more. You really like the fox hat? Gun just smashed. Well, that didn't work last time, I don't think. I can't remember actually. No, with the side business in Vincent, we actually went round the back and there was like a small hole in the window that we looked through. Um, actually, I don't know. But then we went round and pointed the gun at the owner, didn't we? Yeah. Oof. Hang on, let's try it. 
Here's a skunk I told you about. Pardon me. Ooh. Hello, ma'am. Bonjour, monsieur. Hey, mister. Hey. Howdy. Oh, he's closed. Actually annoying, he's closed. <laughs> After all that. What the hell? Oh, sorry about that. So, uh, what do you need? Wait there. I'm coming straight down. <laughs> My hat's better than yours. Arthur. Hello, Mary. You came. Sure. Whenever you call for me, I'll come. Oh, Arthur. What's wrong? Daddy. Your father? I'm a bigger fool than I even thought. Walk away. Keep walking, I'm Arthur. I'm begging you, Arthur. Keep going. I know Daddy was not kind to you, but, but surely you cannot hate a man for the sin of loving his daughter and wanting better for her than... Than, than me? Than <laughs> the choices you what make. What choice did I have? Did I ever have? Oh, I know. You had to live by your code. But your code is... Well, it's not right. Has your way been right, Mary? With you? And Jamie joining a bunch of crazies? And hypocritical daddy with his drinking and whoring and gambling? Huh? Is that what a pure life has gotten you? Begging me for help? Oh, Arthur. Be kind to me. Please. I'm sorry. I am... I should have asked someone else, but... But I'm the best guy you know at frightening decent people. <laughs> it wasn't that I didn't love you, Arthur. You know that. Mm. Oh, Arthur. We were so very young. Think how different life could have been. Yeah, I think about it. Uh, it all seems so long ago and far away now. Will you help me try to save Daddy? Oh my God. Come along, Dan. Where are we going? What's the old lovable patriarch been up to now? Oh, Arthur, you know sarcasm is beneath you. He's been gambling and drinking and other things oh the filthy rotter <laughs> where can we find him he said he was going down to the theodore eckhart stables something about a horse it's down by the water in the warehouse district near the train yard come on then don't be a pompous ass arthur it doesn't suit you oh should i leave that to daddy leave daddy alone he suffers enough well i suppose i can take some consolation in that no oh, arthur I should have ran away with you years ago. Well, you wouldn't. No, I didn't. But... Welcome back. Well... Nata. I don't know. She might. That's what she's saying. She might. Where's my, um... Uh, tonic stuff. So what? 
So what do you think he's up to? I'm not sure. He keeps saying it's a disgrace a man of his standing has to ride around on some old nag. Standing? He's usually falling down. Arthur. He wasn't always this way. But it has got worse. He's drinking and gambling more than ever. Pawning things off left and right. Mixing with bad people. I'm just scared for him. Don't worry too much. Whatever it is, we'll work it out. It's ridiculous. I mean, you, I mean you're, you're there to help people and you get treated like that. It's the same with the fire service. Like, people call out the fire service on a hoax call just so they can then attack them and give them abuse. Like, what? This is the place. <laughs> you see, you got off that horse then. A ninja. Let me go in and see what kind of a state he's in. Yeah, you do that, and I'll go grab a weapon. Shall be any first. Oh, wait here. Good luck. Mr. Need Wheezy. Help. Very funny. Thank you for 14 months, Mr. Wheezy. Hope you're well. You can't stand there. What, street? Yes, in the street. Is it your street? Just get out of here. Why? I said, just get out of here. Listen, partner. I'm waiting on the lady. She's a fine lady. She's just gone inside. If I wasn't waiting on this lady, you'd be dead already. But if you continue to irritate me, I'll kill you. And make my apologies to the lady. It's your call. Oh, I didn't mean nothing. <laughs> Apology accepted. Oh, my own wait daughter. right there. I have half a mind to kill you myself. Daddy. No. Oh, Daddy, please, come home. You're tired, Daddy. Tired and I am unwell. no such thing. You get away from me. You head home. I insist upon it. Leave me be. Damn nuisance. Excuse me, partner. Still as charming as ever, I see. Oh, Arthur. He's up to no good. We but um. Okay. I'm sure I won't need it, but you know. This way. He went around the corner. Oh wow, thanks for the narration. Could you possibly stay out of my face while I do this? Hold on. You can see why he has such a high opinion of himself. We'll just follow the smell. Arthur. Come on. He just went between those crates. He did what now? How did he do that? Gonna get hit. Come here, quick. Mind where you go. Mind where you go. Sorry? Do you think he saw us? I don't think so. What did you say to me? I didn't say a thing insulting. I'll wipe that goddamn smirk clean off your face. <laughs> Ain't you a little old for brawling, mister? Damn you! This guy's got issues. He's heading across the road. You know, this is kind of fun. Shh, he'll hear you. Could have cleaned yourself up a bit. What? I didn't realize I was here to impress anyone. He just went left down that alleyway. What's he doing? Not 
go find out. Wait, Arthur. Any closer and he'll spot us. Oh my god, will she just go away? Not that way. What do you mean not that way? What's he doing? What do you think he's doing? Well, he's either waiting for a woman of dubious morals, or he's trying to sell something. So, Ashton, you got the money? Seems he's selling something. Have you got the brooch, Mr. Gillis? Yes. Ooh, a brooch. Yeah. Here's the money. <laughs> mm, that is beautiful. It's a family heirloom. That was That's mother's brooch. Not any longer, Mr. Gillis. Enjoy the money. And should you need any more, I can offer you a loan at a very reasonable rate of interest. No, thank you. I've heard what happens to folks who take loans from you. It's not I've his to sell. No, it's like just a brooch. At least he didn't get himself Come killed. You don't understand. Nice mother enough. left it to me. You, you sold my mother's brooch? How could you? You! That's theft! Oh, speaking of thieves, I, I see you found your outlaw again. Hello, sir. Have you been well? Daddy, how could you? Mary, wait here. I'll go get the brooch. Don't hurt anyone, Arthur. Mm -hmm. Hey, you, Ashton, hold her right there. Why did he shout after him? Oh look, not to 60 in like two seconds. Hey! Stop that coach! I'll just keep whistling, you can just stand there, okay? Really helpful. That's all they had to do was just walk up and say I'll buy the brooch off you. I wish I could shoot the wheels out. Nah, you lose honor if you shoot the horse. gonna buy it back off you at a reasonable rate or we'll just give you to the alligators by the look of it oh this is gonna be good this is definitely gonna be good get out of there leave me alone leave me alone it's just a brooch I want that brooch it wasn't Gillis's to sell I bought it fair and square. How much do you want for it? I guess I could give it to you for a hundred dollars. A hundred? What do you take me for? Okay, okay. Uh, I'm a reasonable man. Let's say fifty. Not good enough, Ashton. Okay, Jesus. Twenty-five dollars, that's my final offer. Take the damn thing. <laughs> Crazy son of a bitch. I got it for nothing. You don't know who you're messing with. Some pay for this. Oh, it's plot locked.
Look at that. Look at that for plot locked. Oh my god. You will not get this guy. I can't I can't attack him. I can't do anything to this guy. That's amazing. <laughs> Unbelievable. In D and D, we'd call that a DM block. <laughs> I suppose I could let you have it for a hundred dollars, Billy. How about fifty? How about twenty-five? Just take it. You see, he's in the middle of a swamp. I've got a gun and there's alligators everywhere. I don't think he's in a strong bargaining position. DM, Dungeon Master. The Dungeon Master is the person who runs the, the campaign, yeah? So if they stop you from doing something, like the DM can do anything. They're basically God in D&D. So DM block is where they stop you doing something. They stop the player from doing something because it ruins the, you know, campaign or story or characters or whatever. Where's your father? I don't know. You want me to go find him again? Not really. I want to take a walk. I'll take you to the trolley. Thank you. She's getting on the train now, finally. Yeah, uh, got you your brooch back. I won't ask. Probably best not. Well, he was fine. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey. What are you doing now? Hold the V key. Moment? Why'd you ask? <laughs> well, I was wondering if you wanted to do something. Uh, head to the theater, perhaps. Theater? Me? You've been twice. Sure, why not? It'll be fun, Arthur. Let's go to the Relure. They have the strangest act. We've already seen it. <laughs> strangest I can handle. Well, it's the normal business We've seen of life. It. I can't seem to get a grip on it. <laughs> you and me both, Arthur. Oh, I've missed you. Don't start. <laughs> You're an idiot. But you'll always be my friend. Well, of course I'm your friend, but... <laughs> You ain't always fair with me. If I was fair with you and a good person, I'd have had you hanged a long time ago. Well, that's true. <laughs> so, shut up and act like a gentleman, or at least try to for once in your brainless life. I'm not a, a very nice woman with a boxer's <laughs> hat. Well, look at the company I keep. I know, it's quite dreadful, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> sort of beautiful. In a gaudy and tasteless way. It's the only way I know. We've seen the show. Thank you. Well, no, I didn't mean it like that. I... I'm sure. <clears throat> you silly man. Come on. Let's go find our seats. Which one, Kane? Which thumbnail? How about here on the right? Sure. After you. I'm, I'm certain we've seen this one. You mean heckle? Welcome! <laughs> and thank you for that thunderous applause. I am Aldridge T. Abington, the greatest assembler of entertainment since Nero himself. Do not doubt, as a child, when I walked the horse manure covered streets of Saint Denis, I never dreamed of the stir I would create so, in this locality. Just as starting a proprietor or not. Are you in of a the rush? The greatest author? show ever assembled. Prepare for the this grandest the excitement of your curiosity. Fire, snakes, and magic. 
I encourage any of you to dabble in all three if you have a settled aversion to manual labor as I do. For yeah! entertainment is a gift <laughs> that will see you through the winter better than any packed larder or root cellar full of canned goods. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a truly stunning musical performance to the stage, Miss Robin Koninsky. Jackal, thank you for throwing the biddies. Tuscan, thanks for 34. This place we all love called San Denis. That's funny. Yeah, last time we was here, we didn't get this song. They must have different performances. It's just crazy that they put this in a game. Mary's not exactly clapping, is she? Flawless. Perfect. Oh, I see you. You, you love her dulcet tones, right? Yes. She is pure spectacle and... I assure you, she can charm any beast, any beast at all, from cockroach to killer whale. <laughs> it's Your mother nonsense. most likely told you not to play with fire or to spend time in the company of strange women. <laughs> you are about to do both. <laughs> Miss Antoinette Sanserino. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Stop it. Lava. Ooh. Oh, she's the fire thing. We've seen this. Oh, look. She just does like random fire dance. So cool in a game, though. You can see how this could go horribly wrong. I hope she stays away from the curtain. Oh, don't burn yourself. <laughs> Doing that every day. 
I can't think of anything worse. I like hot things too. Well, I didn't get a choice of seat, did I? Like Mary sat down. She needs to pick up the pace a little bit. Come on, fire lady. It's like fireworks after five minutes. You've seen it. You need to change. Yeah, the last one she had fire sticks and she was like juggling them and going Phew. That was good for the first minute. The next four were just the same. Yeah, fire lady. <laughs> oh, enchanting, mesmerizing. She is truly one to bring home to mother. It is said that there is a place in France where the naked ladies dance. I have been there. We need another Prepare act. for the body braziers of the Petit Flaneur in Gay Paris. Yeah, I had a different fire act the last time I came here as well. I think there's two different ones. A random can can dance. This <laughs> is Arthur, oh my god. <laughs> exactly, Pringle. Hey, Mary wanted to go to this show. It won't let me cheer anymore. an encore. Hey, come on, 
Let's get out of here. Oh, okay. Sure, if you want. Reckon we've seen the best of it. <sighs> All right. You better take me to the trolley now, Mr. Morgan. Of course. <laughs> Quite ridiculous, but shame we couldn't stay longer. Sorry. <laughs> My life wasn't supposed to... Oh. Is it too late for us, Arthur? I can't lie to you. I'm a wanted man, Mary. If I... If anyone close to me, well, they're wanted to. And I can't have you wrapped up in that. But it's coming to an end. This time it really is. Run away with me, Arthur. Run away right now and don't look back. Got some people I need to take care of. Once they're free, then I'm free. Then I can disappear. But Arthur. If we're gonna run away anywhere, we need money. Soon I'll have some. I know you won't run away. But it's a pretty dream. Very pretty. But I will once I get some money. I had some. Two four thousand dollars. Got it trapped into a town that I can't go back to. That's another story. What's wrong with it? I'll write you. Do you have to buy a house? This money is in need. <laughs> he knows how to hunt. That's crazy. Creepy. Hey, ma'am. Come on, sir. Yeah, but how much money do you need before you run away? Hey, fellas. Howdy. Hello there, madam. Hello. Right, peeps, it is quarter past nine. I think we're ready to leave it now. Oh, man, that was fun. The Adventures of Arthur. Oh, hell, the missus has me out. Hunting damn near every day, wants to sell enough hides to send the kid to school. I tell you, boy, married life ain't what it's Well, I hope you enjoyed the stream. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks to the mods as ever. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow at one. <clears throat> So yeah, tomorrow will be four hours of Red Dead followed by Sunday night trucking. That's the plan for tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, I wonder if Arthur will actually end up with Mary or not. Who knows? We'll see. I've got a feeling like the way you play the game will affect what happens towards the end. I've got a feeling there's more than one ending, but we'll see. I don't want any spoilers. I'm just theorizing. Right, anyway, enough of this beautiful game. I'm out of here. Have a great rest of your day. Hopefully I'll catch you tomorrow. And uh, yeah, take it easy, guys. Love you all. Good night.